So the palisading is here, but it's quite uh, subtle. So let me show you. I took some screenshots from this case and I marked these up for the purposes of posting online uh, just uh, yesterday actually. So this is good timing. And I, what I wanted to show here is here's a screenshot and you can see the A for Antoni A, the hypercellular areas are Antoni A and that's where varicae bodies and palisading usually are because you need to have cells to make a varicae body and varicae rhymes with A. So that's how I learned it in memorizing in med school and I still find it a useful way to think of it. And B is the loose kind of myxoid or edematous or neurofibroma looking areas. But these lines are flanking areas that to my eye look like palisades. They're, they are not always straight lines that are perfectly parallel. They sometimes curve, they're sometimes kind of tortuous or serpentine, and they're subtle. Sometimes it's just kind of a vague clustering with adjacent areas that are pink and hypocellular. So I'm gonna show you this, and now I'm gonna show you the same picture without the lines and see if you can see it. Can you appreciate how those lined up nuclei are there? And over here, it's a little more subtle, but with practice, I think you can begin to see going back and forth. Oh yeah, there is kind of a line of cells right down here and right down here. And they don't always orient the same direction. They don't always look beautiful. They're not as pretty as varicae bodies. People don't always take pictures of this kind of stuff and put it in a textbook because why would you do that if you can get a gorgeous varicae body, one of the most lovely looking structures in uh, human neoplasia and benign too. So in any case, I know this is not as aesthetically pleasing, but recognizing the subtle palisades is really helpful, not only for schwannoma, but, but for other tumors that palisade as well, like spindle cell lipoma and related entities in the RB1 loss uh, kind of quote family of tumors and, and more. There are other tumors that have vague palisading and seeing that vague palisade can really help you make the diagnosis. So here's the marked up view. And here's the view that's not marked up. And this is on Kiko. You can see the, the post uh, URL up here, or you can go look it up um, in, my, uh, in my index. So um, in any case, there's Palisades there. And this is just showing Antoni A and B and then without the annotation. So I hope you find that useful.